Hey guys, Manush here. Hope you all are doing well. Today our topic is red white screening. At first we have to know why you do this. In RDT that means recombinant DNA technology, a target fragment is inserted into a plasmid. But how we can determine whether a DNA is recombinant or not? Through selectable marker like ampicillin resistance gene, tetracycline resistance gene, we can easily determine that whether a cell is transfected or not. To determine recombinant DNA, various method is applied, screening method. Among these, blue white screening method and red white screening method. Red white screening method is actually done to YSE, yeast artificial chromosome. In the figure, you can see ampicillin resistance gene, yeast oxytrophic marker like HIS3, TRP1, and autonomous replicating sequence ARS1. And we know that ARS1 is the origin of replication in eukaryotic cell, and it also possesses yeast centromere. CEN4 and telomere that is indicated by TEL. In the figure, you can see the circular plasmid vector and the linear DNA. It may be circular, but I just denote it linear. Okay. The red color fragment is our target DNA. In plasmid vector, two selectable marker present ampicillin resistance gene and tetracycline resistance gene. Okay, then RE restriction endonuclease is applied to plasmid vector and a fragment is cut out and then R is also applied to our target DNA to cut it and then they are ligated and recombinant DNA is formed. But we have to check this. Whether the RDT is proper or the fragmented plasmid religated or fragmented uh, target DNA religated, we have to check all of this. Okay, so we need a host cell whether recombinant DNA is inserted. But when we transfer the RDT to host cell, it is not so easy because all DNA in a sample are not recombinant. Okay, and all the DNA, recombinant DNA is not transferred to the host cell. You know that transfection is done through liposome mediated, virus mediated, electroporation okay, and so many physical chemical method. In fast host cell, you can see that no transfection occurred. They are present only bacterial genetic material. In the second bacterial host cell, you can see recombinant DNA enter and in third cell, you can see Recombinant DNA can enter here only the plasmid vector enter. As there is no obstacle for the plasmid vector to enter into a host cell, so it can't enter. Okay. Then at first selectable marker ampicillin is applied when we apply ampicillin which don't have any resistance to ampicillin they have to die so first one die but two other one present they survive to detect which one is RDT and which one is not here we have to apply screening method. 
here we apply red white screening method so the host cell with recombinant dna produce red colony and the host cell that contain only plasmid vector produce white colony as we know gene expresses enzyme to transcription and translation here ade1 and ade2 encode gene that responsible for enzyme that involved in adenine synthesis you know that adenine is among a t c g u okay if ade1 and ade2 is mutated it hampers adenine synthesis SUP4 expressed in ADE21 mutated cell. It is not wild type, it is mutated cell. So, SUP4 present in mutated cell. It suppresses its mutation because it encodes a tRNA that suppresses ADE21 mutation, UAA mutation. We know that UAA is a stop codon. But when mutation occurs at UAA, it produces red color. So, when new DNA or target DNA is inserted into SUP4, it inactivates into SUP4 and SUP4 can't suppress ADA mutation. Then ADE mutation occurs. So, it produces red color colony. Let's clear your concept with the easiest example suppose when your professor present in your class the whole class remains silent that means in peace it indicate white colony just imagine it okay that means your professor suppress your noise through his personality now your principal call your professor so he have to leave okay as soon as your professor leave the class your noise increases that means your violent red colony okay here the external factor or new dna is your principal that interrupt your professor okay in figure, you can see when SUP4 present, it suppresses mutated form and produce white colony. As the ADE21 mutated form has a tendency to produce red intermediate. But when SUP4 present, it can't express itself and then white colony forms but when new dna is inserted it makes sup4 inactive that means insertional inactivation and all the ade mutated form appears and ade mutated form produce red colony thanks for watching if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe our channel press the bell icon and stay tuned for further update